This is the best offense to use in Madden 24. You got moss. It has explosive run plays. Unstoppable glitch routes all over the field. And one play touchdowns to score versus every defense in the game. He could go all the way 95 yards. So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive it. Stick around after the intro. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. The plays I'll be using in today's video can once again be found in my New Orleans Saints offense and multi D defensive ebooks. If you guys want to see more from these or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to download them instantly to your device. The offense that I'll be using today for most of the game is my Gunstack Y Flex offense, which can only be found in the Saints playbook, which lets you know exactly how broken this formation is, as EA always tries to hide the best stuff so it doesn't ruin the game. Although it is also in the Denver Broncos and Pittsburgh Steelers NFL Live playbook that I know of. I already made a full practice mode style breakdown of this offense this year so if you guys want to learn more from this offense as i have plenty of setups that i can't always use in gameplays i will have a link in the description and an on-screen pop at the end of the video so stick around for that in today's game i am back to using my eagles but i think i have an evenly matched game against the los angeles chargers but if you guys want to see me use your favorite team in a future video let me know in the comment Woo! section as the top requested teams right now appear to be the saints ravens commanders cowboys and giants i start this game out on defense and i will once again be using my three four odd scheme as this really is the only defense that I use and I have made several videos about it but I will be focusing on offense today so if you guys want to see more about this I'll once again have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. My opponent in this video though probably has more success against this defense than anybody that I've played this year and that's most likely due to all the videos that I put out about it as now players seem to be more prepared and have a game plan against it. I get them to a third and two at about midfield and line up to stop the run but one of the things that I noticed most players are doing is running against this mostly from under center and a lot of times they quick hike you before you get the full setup in as he breaks off an early run for the score. On the kickoff, this is the first time that someone did a squib kick against me, like it's the new fullback kick or something, and it worked perfectly as my return man just jumped on it like Captain America on a live grenade. Get away! Get back! What, are you fucking retarded or something? That ain't fucking right, dude. My setup for this offense is pretty much the default plays except I switch out the sail and pivot for what's probably my favorite play in the drive age wheel as this play beats just about every single defense in the game in a multitude of ways that I will go over throughout this video. But on the very next play my opponent is in an obvious cover zero blitz since the safeties are man aligned over the slot receiver and tight end. When most people play against man zero blitz their offense is reduced to just quick short throws because the blitz gets in so fast and I have the option to do that here also as just about every route here beats man zero blitz if I want to but I can also just score from here by simply putting the X route on a streak. Break yourself, fool! And this can happen for a variety of reasons. Sometimes the corner route gets in the way and sets a pick, but this time it worked because he manually pressed the defensive backs. Since the Y receiver is in the front hiding the X receiver behind him, the cornerback will press the receiver at the line of scrimmage and get locked into a press animation. The only problem is he's supposed to cover the other guy. Oops. Back on defense, my opponent is doing a good job of mixing up his plays. I'm calling a lot of zone coverages to try to play the run better before we get a huge pressure to force another third and short around midfield. He gets the pass away into tight coverage before running hurry up and deciding to go for it. Ah! Back on offense, I think about taking a shot again. Fight! Run. From here I make a poor read against his man zero blitz to get pushed back almost out of field goal range, but since he had success with that defense, I am pretty sure he will go right back to it. And even though it's second and 22, I'm just going to hit this wide open wheel route to the running back on the next two plays to get all of that yardage back and then some, as this route is like stealing. I call hurry up for the third straight time and I'm pretty sure that he's going to be watching that running back now. But like I said earlier, every route here beats man coverage, so I go to the speed out route on the other side to punch it in. Oh shit, that's just too easy! He is running a hurry up of his own and catching me halfway through my setup every single time on defense as he quick hikes me on back to back plays to get a wide open receiver right up the scene to tie the game. Ah, you 
Back off. Back on offense, he switches into a cover four defense and totally catches me off guard as I take a huge sack to knock him back to third and 20. From here, I try to switch to one play touchdown from the fade out, but I leave the pocket and get a horrible throw on the run. Nope. And I decide to play it safe and punt away. From here, I switch defenses thinking that the last touchdown wouldn't have happened if I had a little bit more speed on the field, but the change doesn't change much as he is still quick hiking me and getting the ball out instantly to his receivers to get right back into the red zone. I get him to a third and goal from here, but I have to flip the play and he quick hikes me again again for a wide open touchdown while my cornerback is flipping the field. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. Back on offense, as he was in cover for a match on the last drive, I decided to switch offenses to give him a different look as the Y sail play from the gun double Z close. It's one of the easiest one play touchdowns against his defense in the game. And this is a new offense that I'm labbing in hopes to bring it to you soon in a gameplay. All you have to do is motion across the B receiver and put the X and Y receivers on streaks. And it works perfectly as he gets wide open. But Jalen Hurts has a noodle arm in this game, and I get a bad accuracy throw that comes up way short, allowing this guy to return it all the way into field goal territory with just a few seconds left before half. He still has all his timeouts as he almost scores on a missed tackle. Oops! No! But with three seconds left, we get the stop, and he wisely settles for a two-possession lead. I get the ball back after half, and I know I have to score soon to keep my chances of winning this game alive, so I go right back to the exact same one-play touchdown. The route combination works perfectly, but I lead it just a little too far. Oh, he almost had it. I switch to the escape play, as this corner route will also get open against any zone coverage if I streak the B receiver, and I drop it in the bucket over his zone coverage. The running back also runs a China route on this play that can't be covered by any defense. He gets me into a fourth and short, so I call the escape play once again, and try to hit the tight end on an out route, but I slide a little too much to the right and into a sack. God damn it! Now down two possessions at midfield, this isn't looking good. I need a stop, and since he is up, I am pretty sure he's gonna be running the ball. So on the first play, we shut that down. <laughs> We go right back to saying the heat on the next play and somehow Herbert runs right around the blitz to get the first down. From here he is playing small ball and trying to kill clock as he is getting closer and closer to putting this game out of reach. Woo! We get him into another third and long only this time the blitz gets home to force an incomplete pass and instead of taking the points this time he decides to go for it as the pressure gets home and forces a pass short of the marker. How about new? If I'm going to make a comeback now I can't waste any more time so I go back to the gun stack wide flex since I didn't score a single point yet without it. I take the running back underneath on the next play to see that he is still running cover for match, which is all I need to know as the PA re is a one play touchdown against every single defense in this game, with the setup most of the time being just to put the wire out on a fade. Break yourself, fool! And just like that, we're back in the ballgame with the sickest celebration I've ever seen. Fuck you! But we gotta get a stop on defense, which has been the real challenge, as he almost breaks off another huge touchdown run. After that, though, we slow him back down to get him to a third and long that he picks up with another quick throw to get back in the field goal range, while also keeping the clock moving. I get into another third and long from here, and this time the pressure gets home from multiple players. And now he's in no man's land, just a little too far for a field goal, but too close to punt, so he has to go for it. <laughs> From here I got plenty of time so I play it safe throwing it underneath as that route is always there. He gets him into a third and short from here and you can tell if that wheel route is in his head as he jumps on it leaving the two crossing receivers wide open over the middle. I know that I can tie the game from here so I don't want to do anything stupid like throw an interception. The perfect scenario is for me to run clock and score a touchdown with no time left. So I pick the inside zone which is really the best run play in the formation and the plan was to go down but once I see this big hole I figure that a big touchdown run would look great in my intro. But I knew while I was doing it that it wasn't a smart move. It all comes down to my 3-4 odd defense that has been hit or miss all day. Woo! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back on the street. But Hassan Reg's strip specialist never misses. <laughs> so that's it, that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos from the offenses and defenses I was using in this video, I will have links in them popping up on screen. So just click the links as I'm sure to help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.